Before the world had time to notice, before headlines could adjust, before analysts could fully understand what was coming, a small West African nation quietly altered the direction of the continent. Not with gunfire, not with treaties, not with sanctions or threats, but with a spark of intelligence, artificial intelligence. In the heart of Burkina Faso, where many around the world expected only struggle, conflict and recovery, something else emerged, a machine, a mind crafted by Burkinabe hands, an AI robot built from scratch. And today, the entire world is staring, asking the very same question. How did Burkina Faso, one of the most underestimated countries on the global stage, suddenly become a technological force? This is the story of a revolution that refuses to slow down. A revolution that is no longer just political, no longer just social, but scientific, industrial, digital, and unstoppable. Tonight, we investigate the rise of Burkina Faso's first homegrown AI robot and the relentless drive behind it. For years, commentators reduced African transformations to politics alone, but Captain Ibrahim Traoré redefined the word revolution for the modern era. To him, revolution is not a speech, not a slogan, not a temporary fever. It is a total re-engineering of a nation, its economy, its machines, its schools, its production, its confidence, its future. Many leaders before spoke of development. Few dared to build it. Fewer still demanded their nation become architects of technologies powerful enough to shift global consciousness. But in Burkina Faso, the philosophy was clear. If the world can build it, Burkinabe minds can build it too. That message ignited something, a spark inside the youth, an awakening inside tech visionaries, a renewed purpose within researchers who had long believed Africa was ready for its own digital dawn. And so began the initiative that would shock the world. This was not imported, not assembled from foreign leftovers, not borrowed, repainted or rebranded. This machine, the first Burkinabe AI robot, was designed, engineered and constructed from scratch. A milestone that instantly captivated global observers, from Silicon Valley to Seoul, from Tokyo to Berlin, for a continent often denied the opportunity to lead in technological innovation, this achievement was more than symbolic. It was revolutionary. Experts around the world asked, how did a nation once dismissed by global tech powerhouses suddenly create an AI robot of international standard? The answer lies in the same strategy that has driven Burkina Faso's transformation across all sectors. Relentless commitment, relentless discipline, relentless progress, and behind that momentum stands a leader who insists that Africa must compete. Not tomorrow, not someday, but today. What Burkina Faso accomplished wasn't just a project, it was a declaration. A declaration that Africa is no longer waiting for permission to enter the digital age. A declaration that young African scientists, engineers and innovators no longer accept the global narrative that says Africa is behind. The creation of the robot marked a shift so dramatic that global technology observers quickly took notice. Within days, videos surfaced online showing the robot in demonstration. Thousands shared the achievement across platforms. Burkinabe youth celebrated in schools, universities, innovation hubs and digital labs. African tech communities applauded the breakthrough. Think tanks began analysing what this meant for future competition. Suddenly, the world had no choice but to recognize that Africa's next renaissance could emerge from places outsiders never expected. Year after year, Traoré repeated the same principle. Revolution is nothing without transformation. Not transformation in theory, transformation in results. While previous generations of leaders across the continent talked about development, the Burkinabe leadership took another route. Building, executing, producing new energy projects, new security doctrines, new alliances, new infrastructure, 
new digital laboratories, and now robotics and artificial intelligence. This rapid acceleration surprised even the most optimistic observers. But inside Burkina Faso, it was not surprising at all because the revolution had a blueprint. Expand digital literacy, train specialists in emerging technologies, build scientific institutions, create innovation hubs, partner with world experts, transfer skills to local engineers, push for independence in every technological field. With each step, the nation inched closer to its goal, a self-sufficient, technologically advanced Burkina Faso capable of competing globally. Analysts labeled Burkina Faso one of Africa's fastest rising digital players. Tech reviewers called the achievement a symbolic disruption of global expectations. But to Burkina Bay citizens, this wasn't just news, it was validation. For too long, Africa was seen only through lenses of conflict, instability and hardship. But this robot, engineered by local talent, forced the world to shift its focus. To acknowledge potential, to acknowledge ingenuity, to acknowledge the unstoppable evolution happening in the heart of West Africa. A nation once overlooked was now being studied, analyzed and respected. For the first time in decades, Burkina Faso was not following global innovation. It was shaping it. With the success of the AI robot, a new chapter opened. A chapter where Burkina Faso envisioned itself as a regional hub for robotics, a center for digital innovation, a leader in African artificial intelligence, a cradle of emerging technologies, a place where young engineers could finally build without limits. This is not imaginary. This is not theoretical. This is not symbolic. These developments are already underway. Government agencies confirmed expanding digital centers. A country once dismissed by global networks is now setting standards. Burkina Faso is not catching up. It is moving forward at full speed. The Burkinabe achievement is not isolated. It is a signal, a spark that could ignite a continental movement. If Burkina Faso can do it, if young Burkinabe engineers can build from scratch, then Africa can build anything. The psychological barrier has been broken. The world's old belief that technological revolutions cannot come from Africa has been shattered. If Burkina Faso can rise, so can any African nation. If one of us can do it, all of us can do it. The digital future of Africa no longer belongs to outsiders. It belongs to Africans ready to innovate. Behind the circuits, the code, the algorithms, the metal framework and the mechanics lies something more powerful. Burkina Faso's determination. This robot isn't just a machine. It is a symbol, a symbol of awakening, a symbol of possibility a symbol of a nation refusing to stay in the shadows. It represents hope, discipline, progress, vision, independence, innovation, and above all, action. Because in the Burkinabe revolution, dreams mean nothing without the courage to build them. Government sources indicate that this is only the beginning. Plans to develop more advanced robotics, expansion of AI facilities, integration of automation, into industrial sectors, creation of domestic tech manufacturing chains, training thousands of young specialists, partnerships with global research institutions, a roadmap for long-term digital sovereignty. Burkina Faso is aligning itself not with the old technological world, but with the future one. And in that future, Africa is not a follower. Africa is a creator. Once the world looked at Burkina Faso and saw only struggle. Today, the world looks again and seize innovation. Once, they said Africa could not build advanced technology. Today, an AI robot stands as proof that they were wrong. Once, they believed African revolutions were only political. Today, Burkina Faso demonstrates that true revolution transforms everything. Science, industry, education, identity, destiny. This achievement is not the end, it is the beginning. The beginning of a new narrative where African engineers shape the machines of tomorrow. Where African nations write their own blueprints. Where no one dictates the limits of African potential. The world is watching. The world is analyzing. The world is learning a new truth. Africa is not waiting for the future. Africa is building it. 
and at the center of this awakening, with sparks flying in workshops, with young hands coding algorithms, with a nation rising through innovation, stands a country once underestimated, Burkina Faso, a nation proving to the entire world that revolution is not a word, it is not a speech, it is not a promise, it is action, it is invention, it is creation, it is the birth of something new. And in this new era of African history, the machine has awakened, the people have awakened, the continent has awakened. This is only the beginning.